Ngoi TV, informed economist and business perspective. <laughs>
complementing each other uh, in my context, in, 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 uh, in my view. Uh, so, broadly speaking, I would say banks, you know, or rather the, 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 the banking uh, industry, broadly speaking, has to understand exactly uh, the implication of this. Because there's technology has gained, you will see the improving uh, factor productivity. Uh, here again, we connect this now to the, you know, the future of jobs. Uh, if one was to invest in, in a bank, if you can invest in a, in a, in a you know, we say staffless bank, staff, staffless branches uh, in a bank that, that does not have um, bricks and mortar. You know, what is the implication in terms of, you know, labor market? And those that are, those who are in the banking sector now, uh, are they going to lose jobs? If they lose jobs, you know, what happens? Are they ready to cope with, the, you know, with the normal life out there? Uh, so here, you could see again when it comes to competitive, com competitiveness in terms of, uh, you know, broadly speaking, whether it is in industry, uh, countries have been seeing competitiveness, for example, in terms of uh, physical resources, uh, copper in, in, in Congo and Zambia, Tanzania, gold, etc., etc. But really, with these technologies, the competitiveness has moved to brain power now to brain power and this is across across the sector now are we having exactly this and i think in the morning we heard a lot about uh, you know uh, uh, capabilities those kind of stuff uh, so again i'm skipping things in order to avoid the repetition almost to come to the end chair now the implication of all this i think uh, includes uh, the need to be extremely innovative because um, the way these technologies are unfolding and they're unfolding on daily basis you never know what is coming in tomorrow in the market really innovation will be extremely important across sectors but also in this context in the banking sector uh, banks that want to be innovative uh, you know they'll be left uh, behind you know I'm, I'm old enough to have been in those banks where maybe only me a little bit maybe Lawrence maybe bit, maybe professor and him there you know those old days bad old days actually when going to bank mean, means going to this physical book you know, book 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 you know you go to the post bank you draw your hundred shillings and you draw you have drawn a hundred shilling now you're many with five shilling if you wanted to draw in moshi you go there there is no enough money you go into a bus you go and draw in arusha you know those kind of stuff we have seen those things uh, in the past year uh, <laughs> you know you can see i'm not 60 so in less than 60 years eh? so you could see i see these technologies maybe moving very fast uh, uh, in our lifetime so really the role of innovation and in that context now the, the need to be change oriented and to be able to manage this change will be extremely important uh, when it comes to training uh, as i told you I'm, I'm professor of economics i do train i do tell my students you know in the let me call them bad holidays when we went to school we, we, we have been prepared for jobs you know i did economics and we've been prepared to you know we'll call ourselves uh, economic planners economists etc but then given the dynamics uh, of the labor market now given these technologies actually now we have to prepare people to be future ready not jobs ready but future ready and the question this is because we are, we really we don't know what the future is going to bring us you know so really i tell my students when they're in class please get skills here uh, that can make you able to cope with whatever is going to come in the future you know S some few understand me some never understand me so the key issue really is uh, acquiring you know these uh, labor market soft skills you know a uh, question of being courageous uh, teamwork adaptability you know that kind of stuff uh, again you could see here the question of uh, the quest the need to be uh, technology savvy is extremely extremely important and that's why with those of us <laughs> uh, you know they would say maybe bbc born before uh, computer now really if you are not technology savvy in quite a number of issues it will be an issue and i was impressed yesterday talking to an accountant uh, an old man he, has, he should be in his 70s etc he was wondering he had his electronic uh, uh, ticket he went to the airport at, at the counter he shows the lady or maybe a lady but a young man or woman for that matter at your ages you guys and this lady tells him they go and you print it I, said, I mean of what use this is the age of digital technology electronic take why should they print it so you could see really if, if we with gray hair can be technology savvy about you young men and women here so i think he, he was really surprised that uh, someone on his in his uh, 20s, 30s, would be forced that him there who is 70 to go and print electronic uh, ticket. While actually in the age of digitalization, it's a, it's 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 age for, it's a time for for example at the university. Now I'm telling my students, 
it should be a time for paperless uh, offices, paperless uh, universities. Quite a number of meetings we hardly uh, print. Uh, so those kind of stuff. Coming to the end chair, again, you could see here, uh, I think I've talked a little bit about, uh, uh, you know, the future of jobs uh, now, specifically, uh, what will be needed is one, to make sure that you have uh, core uh, uh, employability skills in order to cope with these uh, uh, technologies. In the banking sector, for example, one has to do scan, to scan actually, and see what are these uh, skills that uh, I need in this new uh, in this new environment because if you don't do that uh, we'll be training people to be bankers and upon graduation and we, the problem is our degrees here for example first degrees they take three years if you law four years and law school two years so five years before you graduate in between new technologies ha have been born and even died and new ones again so really the key issue really and this is what i tell my my staff, you might know I'm now principal from Zoom University, there's some campus, so I have my, uh, my staff. I tell them, please, let's prepare these people to be future ready, not jobs ready. Not, let us not prepare bankers. Let us not prepare economists. Let's prepare people who can cope with the future, whoever they will be uh, as they move along. So, again, at the end is the question of uh, implication to authorities. And that's where, again, maybe we'll, 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 we'll have to, to, to request uh, the brain of uh, Professor Andolo and uh, Lawrence and uh, the other professors here. Uh, we see all these technologies having quite a number of implications to regulations, for example. Yeah, because what we are seeing is uh, we are seeing technology moving faster than regulations. And if you are not uh, careful, especially the regulators, and this context, the, the, the central bank as the regulator in, in the financial sector, we may, be dis we may be criminalizing, we may be saying no to technologies, but then at our disadvantage. So what I've been urging elsewhere is, yes, we need really to, to innovate, but of course, uh, regulations are also important, but they should be smart regulations. Because if you regulate in such a way that you constrain, you hinder, you prohibit, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, innovations, you'll be left behind, you know. I, I should have said I do run my online TV. I'm an old man, but I'm a little bit in the new age. So when we started, we, we, we had, uh, there were, at times we had some problem, not so much problem with the regulator TCRI, that you guys now, you have to shut, you have to stop and all this. And, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit of a cause, so I wrote. I do write every, every Thursday, I have a call on Mwananchi. I wrote and said it's not proper. Every Saturday, I have a Every Friday, like today, I have a, call, a, a program on ITV, and every Saturday I have economics medicine. So I wrote on all those angles. And immediately, I mean, at least I think they, they understood. So we, we, we are allowed to keep on operating, and then regulations came later. So you could see, because this question I was asked even the day before yesterday, that, you know, how, how can we innovative? There are regulations. For example, accountants will tell you, you have that audit manual, you have to follow it to the line. But I told you, I mean, <laughs> this is not, not dogma. This is not dogma like, you know, Roma said, and so it has to be. I think laws are made for people, not people for the law. So I think uh, the regulators uh, and, uh, you know, when it comes to legal policy and regulatory framework is really the question of flexibility. Uh, so uh, I think that is uh, the end only to maybe if you are, we are to, to give a, a broad co conclusion is uh, when it comes to these uh, technologies that are defining the fourth industrial revolution uh, they are still taking shape actually it's not everybody everywhere who is already on the fourth industrial revolution uh, quite a number of us we are still in the third some few still on the second so we can still operate where we are in terms of the third industrial revolution uh, before moving to this, all these new technologies, but we should be aware uh, that these technologies are there and they are coming. I do tell people it's a matter of time before they knock on our doors. It's, uh, it's a matter of time before you see a robot uh, on your door. Nobody would, uh, would imagine, I think, Ukerewe of all places would be saved by, by drones. Maybe tomorrow will be Tandale, maybe the other day will be Manzese, you know, those kind of stuff. Uh, so with this, uh, I think which was supposed to be mainly uh, brainstorming, a uh, chair, uh, allow me to stop here. Thank you. Thank you.